Hello there, this is Alana Tucky. I'm the lead faculty for Math 133. I'm going to be making a couple videos here to guide you through finding and cleaning up your um, data spreadsheet for this project. So let's begin, shall we? Um, first thing we're going to do is go to the website www.gapminder.org. Um, pull out any browser that you like. I personally um, infinitely prefer Google Chrome, but Firefox will work really well as well. Gapminder.org. Um, I would recommend, I would not recommend Internet Explorer unless you have to, just because Internet Explorer tends to be a bit more buggy, but whatever. All right, you want to click on data right here. And then there are actually hundreds and hundreds of data sets here available for you to download, see the download. And we're going to look for GDP. And honestly, you can probably just type GDP and you can see it. Here it is. GDP per capita right there. See it? And it's saying, telling you it's from various sources. It's related to the economy, incomes, and growth. And then right here, if you click on this Excel icon, it'll download it. Now, the way Google Chrome works is that I can just click on it down here. If you're in Firefox, it might um, have, it'll usually have like a small window here. Hold on. Okay, here's Firefox. I've just pulled it up so you can see it. And then I click on that icon. It opens up and then here it's asking me, what do you want to do with the file? Do you want to open it? Do you want to save it? It doesn't really matter. You know, open it, save it, whatever. And then it should open up in Excel. It's going to take it a second. So you can see I've downloaded it twice. Here it is from Google Chrome. Here it is from Firefox. Now, interestingly, Google Chrome, because I think I had something else open, said, hey, this is protected. Do you want to enable editing? Sure, I do. Right. All right, so there we go. We've got our downloaded data set. It's huge. And we are going to go back and look at the instructions. So we went to there. We clicked on data. We found it. And now we are going to save this file with your particular last name. And I don't need both of these, so I'll just pick one. All right, so go to File. Go to Save As. Might be in a slightly different location, depending on um, where you have... Um, your Excel. So if, if you have like Excel 2010, it's file up here. You know, it'll be file somewhere, file save as. And then where you want to save it's up to you. I'm just going to save it to my desktop, but you can save it wherever you want. And you want to use your last name, not mine. And it said Tucky Math 133 Project 1. So I'll do that. Tucky Math 133 Project 1. Save. Right, and you can see up here at the top, it changed it to reflect that. And now I'm going to keep saving all the way through. That way I don't ever lose anything, right? Right. Okay, so let me go back here. Oops, sorry, wrong thing. All right, we are done with part one. We have downloaded the file and saved it. I'll see you back here for the next part, which is cleaning up that spreadsheet and making it so it's not such a giant mess.